Hey everybody, it's Zyhar Movies here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In our last episode, frustration and a lot of it, making our way through our, our third dungeon here. Um, finally picked up the big key and the fire rod, so we can make our way to the main dungeon. And now we can progress thoroughly and beat this damn dungeon today, and fall into a hole. Not my idea, actually, but you know what, it works. Maybe, perhaps, not really. But yeah, I should actually kind of apologize for how frustrating the episode was for me. I don't like to get that frustrated playing a game. It's just, it's a video game. I really shouldn't get all worked up over it. And in that case, the commentary kind of suffered, so I, I do apologize for that. I mean, it, it definitely wasn't my best work. I sh actually should not have even really made it. I should have, like, scrapped it and started over. But the episode is done. I got some progress made, so you know what? That's a win in my book. Stop falling in holes. It's not very polite. And do that. And then we want to go on to this one. There we go. And did. Ja! Okay. And yes, Ja, the uh, Norwegian supermodel. Anyone knows who that is? You did a cookie. Now I make our way up here. There we go. Now that I'm actually okay with happening. There's just a lot going on. It's kind of hard to watch every little thing. So yeah, you gotta be kind of careful. Now we can make our way through. Now there we go. Oh, I should also mention um between episodes, yeah, I went back to the magic hut and resupply of medicine. I got two cure all medicines and a red potion also. So we are good there. Now in this room we want to use our fire rod here. Let's actually kill these guys first. Uh, we can watch out with the fire rod, no problem. Well, actually, what I want to do also is, um, damn it, let's do that, and that, there we go, you have to light up all the torches real quick before you can progress, otherwise, yeah, they'll disappear and you'll have to start over again, so, yeah, you want to have close to full magic for that one, yeah, you can see, kind of, like, it, it goes, like, the door opens and then it closes, you hear the jingle, and then you do a dance, and you hug a pony, and then all that fun stuff. Also, stop chasing me, there you go, ow, no, sword. Not boomerang, sword. There you go. I'm almost dead again. Oi. Well, I'll go ahead and use my uh, life medicine here. You definitely want to save your cure-all medicine for the um, the boss later on, because um, you'll want the, uh, your magic meter for it. Spoilers, you need the fire rock for the boss, as if that's a spoiler at all. So, yeah, that's why yeah, I want to have a couple of those. Now, I want to get my fourth bottle sooner or later, but I actually forget where we get it, to be quite honest. Um... I'm trying to rack my brain as to where you get it. Also, oh no, we are stuck. No, no. There we go. It's a link sized hole. <laughs> yeah. Also, these guys are about these little shell head things from the first dungeon make their uh, reoccurring appearance. So that's kind of cool. Ow. Ah, burp. Ah, God, too many enemies. Ah, 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 God. Ow. Why do you jump when you're attacked by a spike? Seems kind of weird. Also, die. Nah. Rah. There we go. Okay. Ooh, a key. Yay. There we go. And wall hand, wall master hand thing. Do not. <laughs> Just do not. Let me go ahead and resupply. I don't know why you really need arrows. Although, for the boss, you actually could use um, arrows against it if you really wanted to. I think they work. I mean, the fire rod's just a lot better anyway. And plus, yeah, now at this point, we're actually done with the dungeon. We gotta make sure we get fully healed up. Equip our fire rod. It's a fire rod! Fireballs! Yum! Actually, I don't know where that reference is even from. And it's Mothra! Oh my god! See, what should I do? Burn him! Burn the witch! Or moth. And then, yeah, once you run out of uh, MP, you'll want to uh, go ahead and resupply. There's no need, uh, don't worry about wasting, well, not wasting, I'm uh, using them up already. It makes the boss fight that much easier. So, back to your fire rod, and just keep burning him. And yeah, there's plenty of spikes here, so you gotta watch out for that. But just get yeah, a few shots with the fire rod, and you should be good. You can actually get a straight shot to hit him. And yeah, now we're short, but luckily you should be almost, almost be dead. That's actually, I am, I am too. Which sucks. Come on, I need a couple more hits. I hope. No, don't do this to me, game. 
come on. No, no spikes. Oh my god, that was close. He did a 14th heart container and the third crystal. Yay! Oh, I thought for sure I was dead. The monsters all like, oh bitch, I'm gonna kill you with my moving wall and moving floor and my spatch. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna burn y'all. With one heart, I lived. Evil monsters. Well, hey, they're not evil by nature. Some of them actually aren't. You never know. The Great Cataclysm. I think we've already heard it. And yeah, pretty much, as you may have noticed, these Crystal Maidens all say pretty much the same thing, actually. And just they, they just word it differently. So yeah, if you have a bad heart, it'll lead you out to bad stuff. If you have a good heart, it leads to good stuff. That's pretty much, in layman's terms, how that works. So yeah, Knights of Hyrule, Knights of, Knights of, Sid of Sidonia is better, in my opinion. And uh, of course I am. I'm the only one who can do anything in this game without fail. This is an LP of Link to the Past. We can't not have fail. Come on. I guess I understand. Now please heal me. I love that sound effect with the swirling sword. It's just, it's so badass. Even more so than the power glove. Now to get the hell out of here. We do have to do a little bit of backtracking. Do we? Um, yeah, oh, wait, 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 no, we don't, no, we don't, no, we don't. I'm getting a little confuzzled. Yeah, I, I'm easily confused if you guys haven't noticed. Now, let me see. Um, well, this way leaves the top right corner for us to get out. I don't remember, actually. It should, I think, I hope, maybe. Let's, let's find out. But yeah, I am glad I'm done with this dungeon. Yeah, oh, there's another, another way in. Okay, if you really wanted to go that way, by all means. I, I was probably already in there, just didn't really know it. So I wouldn't worry about that. And we'll make our way out of here. And actually, uh, our fourth dungeon is actually down to the south, where um the where our Takariko village was in the light world. So, yeah, this town, yeah, looks a little bit different now in the dark world than the light world. But there's a lot of fun stuff to do there, including another mini game. Which will probably take me a while to do because there's a heart piece there as a prize, and um, it can take a while to get it. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain more about that when we actually get there. Because yeah, we're actually almost there. You remember, if, of course, from the light world, you just go south from the forest, boom, the Tacarito village. So I'm already there pretty much. So there's that. There you go. And make your way down here. Yeah, now I'm feeling much better now that that dungeon is done. Now that that dungeon is done. Wow, that's quite a sentence. Now that the dungeon is done. Dun dun dun! Jin. <laughs> I made a pun. I'm so punderful. I try to be anyway. Sometimes. Also, what does the sign say? Skeleton Forest in the Village of Outcasts. Those are cool names. Yeah, you know, this place also known as yeah, the Town of Thieves, because there's thievery and mischief afoot, which is never good. Also, Bunny! But he's evil Bunny, we're good Bunny. We're like Bud's Bunny, he's like Dark Bud's Bunny, or something or other. Also, there's a couple houses around here, um, also Mario picture, <laughs> nice cameo. Yeah, there are two houses here which contain chests which contain money! Yeah, these people are loaded. Also, this is a really weirdly shaped house. I mean, it's a C, but just a very odd shape for a house. Even though it's that on the outside, a perfect square, and a C on the inside. It's kind of weird. Uh, well, also soldiers with their um with their Q-tips as weapons. Quite the odd weapon, I would say. Oh, okay. What's up? Gargoyle statue in the village. I th yeah, I thought I saw. It. Actually, no, I haven't seen it yet. Hear a girl calling for help. That's peculiar. But of course we have to go there anyhow. I mean, it, we're kind of already forced to. I mean, standard rule role playing needs. If someone tells you to go do something, you then therefore must go do that thing. Like, if not to do something, you have to go do it. 
if someone tells you to do something, like then you then therefore must go do it. It's just how the rule works. Also, why won't you die? Also, B, B, uh, you're dumb. D U M. This is this is a B. Ah! Oh God! Where? 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 Point for the reference. Also, village of outcasts. People without rupees are not welcome here. Well, I do have over 700 rupees, so I think I'm okay. Also, dead chickens. They're skeleton chickens. We can run through here? I really thought you could. But no, if you need Le Bomb. Also, Le French. I did Modern Warfare 3. It was kind of funny. If I first was first playing that, got a, a couple of couple days, blah, couple of days after it came out. And I was playing on um, Resistance, and I'm like, I'm, I was the GIGN, I mean, my first time being there. I'm like, I'm the French. Le fuck is this? But I mean, I actually love being the GIGN. They're awesome. You know, that was my first my initial reaction to being Le French. And of course, I mean, no, I mean, no offense to any of my French friends at all, or French Canadian, anything at all of the sort. I was just making it, just making a joke and a reference and all that. Also, I. Th it's not here. It's somewhere else there's something we can do here. Um, where else can we go? Oh, there's this thingy. And that would be our fourth dungeon, but we're not heading there yet. Soon enough, though. Where I really want to go to is up in this house here. Yeah, you guys have played the game before. You know about that house. You know about this one. We have another chest mini game today. Let's see how pretty much how it works. Yeah, you pick two chests for three rupees. You can get various items here, bombs, arrows, uh, individual heart containers, and a heart piece. So, yeah, any one of these chests could have it. So, let's see. You pick any one. Get a lone arrow. And a lone rupee. Awesome! I win! Yeah, I think as much as far as rupees go, I think the highest you can get would probably be like 25 or 50, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's, it's better to spend a lot of time here doing this because, yeah, take, finding the heart piece will take some time. So, yeah. But, I mean, if you have the money, then I say, I mean, if you want also mass heart containers, then you'll want to play here for a while anyway. But, yeah, a lot of cases also, yeah, you'll win your money bad from oh, just one or two chests anyway. So, it's there's a good gain, there's good net gain from this game in some cases. In my case, no, there's really not. So, see, so far I've won, like, what, 12 arrows and a couple heart containers? That's about it. You know, I'll keep playing this for a little while and see if I did lucky. Otherwise, I'll probably just do it off-camera and just get it there. It'll be easier for me. <laughs> oh, yay, more lone arrows. And 100 rupees. There you go. That's a nice bonus thar. But yeah, there's like, all the run-of-the-mill stuff here. And, of course, the heart piece. How many chests are in here, by the way? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And you open two chests. That's that's one eighth of rare. That's yeah, one eighth. Now, I'm trying to figure out the actual percentage of getting the heart piece there. I don't know. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, well, a bomb. Yay. And 50 rupees. There you go. Oh yeah, speaking of which, for bombs and arrows, I should actually go upgrade those. I know you can. Actually, I forgot how to before, but luckily HC Bailey's LP um, just got to that point where he did upgrade them and uh, increase the supply of them, so I, I remember how to do that now, thanks to him. See, so, yeah, I'll have to go stop over and do that sometime soon. Let's see, I'll play this for a couple more times. Let's see if I did lucky. There we go, heart piece! Yes! Yeah, I was actually kind of hoping I would get that on my first try, on my first round of the game, like the, uh, digging game. <laughs> oh my god, that digging game. I still can't believe it, I got that on my first try. That was unbelievable. Now, let me see. I think there's something else we can do now. Um, down to the southeast here, if I remember correctly. Oh, let's see, let's, let's go over here first. Oh, that's the same sign. Yeah, there's this over here, but we can't get there yet. Yeah, we need our we need our new power glove for that. We need a better one anyway. But yeah, we'll get that one later. But not today, unfortunately. Now, let's see, down here, there's a ribbit. Hi. I can't get to you, unfortunately. Why can't you just jump down? I mean, you're a fraud. You didn't jump. You have bendy legs. It falls shouldn't be that much for you. 
And then, yeah, just work your way back up through here, and then you're good. Now, let me think, actually. If I go back down here, then I won't be able to get back up through this way, I don't think. Because, yeah, the fence is in the way. And also, yeah, that block is too heavy for us to lift right now, anyhow. Um, but you know what? It is a good shortcut for what I want to do. So, actually, yeah, let me go ahead and do that real quick. See, so, I really think this, there's one thing that we can do off to the east here that we should be able to do right now. I think so, anyway. Well, we might have to wait a little bit longer. I don't remember. Yeah, once I, what I'll do also, I'm um, off camera. I'll backtrack to the other uh, town there. And, um, probably do just meet outside the uh, gargoyle statue there. So, yeah, just a heads up there. And make your way up through here. Now, can we do this yet? I was trying to do this early, if you guys remember correctly. Okay, now what we need to do, yes, yeah, go off to the uh, light world. So, let's do the time warp again. There we go. Okay, please. Okay, yeah, it's, it's not letting me move at all, so I guess I can't do this yet. Let's do I'm doing something wrong. Oh, yeah, I have the shovel. Yeah, you should be able just to, to warp back there anyway. Well, that's just peculiar. Maybe what I need to do is just warp somewhere else. Like, let's try warping down here. And then go back up here. There we go. Now I can do what I wanted to do. Let's see. Hey, you look just like me. Also, red ostrich. That's very odd. What an odd odd. What an odd ostrich. Now, with that friend shovel, we can go ahead and dig. And we can find... Wait for it. Wait for it. Nope. Nope. There we go. The magic flute. It has some mysterious power. Like not Ocarina of Time. That reminds me. I still have that for my 3DS. That I have actually have barely played. I really should play it more. Although I did just get Mario Kart 7 yesterday, actually. So I've been playing that. Very, very fun. I love the added, added details of um, going underwater and also flying through the sky. That's awesome. Oh. I just hear a fox. Foxes can't really play flutes. To a tired old man, you will find there. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. It's a pretty tune. Now, do they reuse this in future Zelda games, like Not Green of Time or Jorah's Mask or whatever? Like, whoa! It turned into a tree! Wow. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, your, like, your loss of life. Eh. Eh, grunt! Okay, but now that we have the uh, magic flutes, we will be able to do... Well, we need one more... We need to do one more thing before we can really have fun with the flutes. Now, let me see. Should I go back to the town? Yeah, I have a little bit of time. Why not? Well, actually, yeah, I do. And also, yeah, I kind of don't. Um, let me actually just go back up to Link's house here. That'll be a good stopping point. Also, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, um, wait. Trying to think here. Too many ideas at once. Um, there's that up there. Yeah, what I want to do again is, um, I'll go back to the uh, witch's hut there, resupply my spells. Not spells, my potions. Why did I say spells? I have no idea. <laughs> Brain, why you no work? Anyways, I was trying to say is, yeah, I'll go back to the Witch's Hut, and resupply on potions, and then we'll take on our fourth dungeon for next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.